as we are going to be taking a check on your first alert forecast update. I am WIS first alert meteorologist Tony Chivaroli and basically from what we've been looking at, of course a happy Juneteenth today as we get to the middle of this week. Seasonal conditions, not much of the way of changes have been there. It's been dry, it's been pleasant. I got partly cloudy skies to send your way. So let's continue to bring you outside and bring you the beauty of what will be this Wednesday. So we roll you along. We're gonna be taking a check on how it's looking for your travels. And it is going to be pretty simple out there as we make that push. Let's see if we can get those graphics up right now so we can bring everyone to a, a little bit more of a settled sense of what is going to be a beautiful day outside. And there we go. We are taking a check at the flyover between where we split it off at I-126 and then I-26, that's mile marker 108 there. And uh, this is going to be, of course, a, a nice view from what we can anticipate, not just for the AM hours today, but even going into the PM hours too. So uh, what we've seen close to our capital city, a lot of temperatures now making that push towards the lower 70s. By the time we get a little bit closer to 10 o'clock, already going to be seeing upper 70s out there, so on and so forth. But not so much so forth because we're not going to see a dramatic dramatic rise of temperatures today. Thankfully, we're going to see better outlooks in the way of highs near that 89 to 90 degree mark, which for this time of the year is all you can really hope for, uh, for, especially with a day where there's a lot of sunshine out there because it can get very hot. So nice to see for anything with morning gatherings or celebrations going on with Juneteenth, especially as we get further and further into this afternoon because it just makes things a bit more bearable. It makes things easier to celebrate outside because, you know, we're going to be getting over the next few days eventually back to a situation where heat indices, what we feel like out there, it's going to be over 100 degrees. I'll give you that little warning right now just to uh, take advantage of a day like this that looks a lot better once, of course, we're focused on uh, how hot it can get. You know, when you're focusing on 90 degrees and you're thinking about springtime, then yeah, obviously it's a lot more sweltering. But as we get further and further into the year, it's just more of what you're used to. Your body adjusts. You expect it for certain streps, uh, stretches of days here. So uh, going through the next three days, beautiful Juneteenth again, partly cloudy skies, more of that sun breaks through on Thursday and Friday. We're seeing very limited amounts of cloud coverage, but we can still see as we get late into that Friday, a few stray storm chances. And that's also going to be an indicator of more humidity back. So as we go through the motions of the rest of this week, you have to continue to take the proper precautions of heat because it's really going to be impressive. And it's not just going to be for one day. It's not just going to be for two days. It's actually really following up a lot the first day of summer into this upcoming weekend and even early next week. So uh, we could actually see four, five days where uh, we're getting towards some dangerous heat levels, especially for what you can uh, attribute to you know, inside cars, enclosed spaces, how high these temperatures can rise, especially as we are going to hold on to a good deal of sun. So we're focused not just on the temperatures rising, but also humidity being a factor and more direct sunlight. You know, we're just gonna, going to be getting to the summer solstice tomorrow. Sun is getting extremely high in the sky. We're getting the most daylight possible this time of the year. So these are all factors you have to consider when you're not just protecting yourselves out there, but those around you, protecting uh, people and pets alike. So let's continue to get you first alerted into that. One more time, beautiful Juneteenth. Love it, nice and seasonable. Get out there, especially if you got the day off. Into Thursday, we're going to be seeing for the first day of summer, yes, that is tomorrow, a high near 91, 92, but then slightly hotter on Friday. And you'll start to feel it get hotter, not just because of the temperatures, but for once more, the humidity. And just look at that stretch from Saturday all the way to two Tuesday of next week, mid 90s for each day, humidity is all going to be settled in and you see those little spotty storm chances. It's just all a great indicator that each of those days from Saturday on will at least have a heat index around 100 degrees plus. So it's going to be a time frame. You need to make sure you're taking serious, make sure you're getting the shade breaks. You are continuing to go on with these emotions of sun and heat safety. And I can't stress that enough and I will continue to do so as this week uh, progresses. Thank you again, though, for checking in with me this morning. I'm WIS First Alert Meteorologist Tony Shivaroli. If you need more news updates, that's going to be coming your way. And that is what's new this morning. That is going to be around 9 o'clock on this live stream. Thank you again for being here. Have a great Juneteenth. And, of course, rest of your upcoming week. If you don't happen to catch me one of these mornings coming up.